Logitech recently released the follow-up to their incredibly popular C920 webcam called the C922, and it's got some very notable features, specifically 720p at 60fps and automatic background removal. But are these features a big enough deal to warrant an upgrade? We're going to find out in this review. As for review disclosures, no, this is not a sponsored video. I bought this webcam myself, and if you want to check it out, there's a link down in the description. It's an Amazon affiliate link, which helps me fund the purchase of future products to review. So why don't we go over the specs of this camera, which are certainly impressive. First of all, you got 1080p at 30fps and 720p at 60fps, and both use H.264 compression. Another flagship feature is the automatic background removal, which uses Personify software to separate you from the background through image analysis, so you don't necessarily have to get a green screen. Of course, we're gonna look at how well that works later. First, why don't we talk about the build quality? This definitely does feel like a quality product. It's mostly plastic, but it still feels sturdy and all the hinges and joints move very smoothly. And there are actually three different hinges on here for adjustment. One to tilt the camera up and down, one on the body to latch it onto your monitor, and a third segment that allows you to adjust the angle of the bottom segment to fit flush with your monitor. And there's also a screw mount on the bottom in case you wanted to mount it to a tripod. Next, let's talk about the video quality, which is arguably the most important part. I found the video quality to be quite excellent, especially for a webcam. At 1080p, it's surprisingly sharp and has very little noise in normal lighting conditions. And it looks especially good if you turn up the sharpness a little bit higher than what comes default. Even in suboptimal lighting conditions, I found the noise to be almost unnoticeable. Also, unlike its predecessor, this webcam seems to be able to easily hold a constant 30 FPS. Now, at 720p, things get a little bit interesting. The 60 FPS is nice, but there are a couple things I noticed about the video. At 60 FPS, the video appears to be much less sharp, but not just as a consequence of the lower resolution. Everything just looks much more smoothed out with a lot less detail, and this only happens at 720p and only when 60 FPS is enabled, not when it's at 30. If I had to guess here, it appears like the camera is applying a very strong noise reduction. This would make sense because at 60 FPS, that means it's half the shutter speed, therefore getting half the amount of light into the camera, which means there would be double the amount of image noise normally. But the point of noise reduction filters in any camera is to reduce the image noise at the cost of detail. And that's what appears to be happening here because there is a noticeable lack of noise where there certainly should be. However, I found no way to remove this effect even in excellent lighting and cranking up the sharpness doesn't do anything in this case because the detail is already gone. I appreciate the noise reduction, but I think it's very stupid to not be able to disable it, especially in cases where we are able to provide adequate lighting. And I actually think the noise reduction effect looks worse than what the noise would be, which really undermines the video quality at 60 FPS. Now, besides all that, another interesting thing I found about this webcam is it's not just limited to 1080p. It actually does 2503 by 1536 resolution, although at a reduced frame rate. The C922 also offers a lot of customizability in the image settings. It includes standard settings such as brightness, contrast, and sharpness, but unlike the Razer Stargazer, which I recently reviewed, it does allow for manual focus. And the manual exposure setting actually works and doesn't unnecessarily drop the frame rate. Though it does have a setting called low light compensation, which will lower the frame rate if it needs to, to properly expose the image. So keep that in mind if you're using 720p at 60 FPS, you might wanna disable that or it will defeat the purpose of using 60 FPS. Now let's talk about the other big feature that the C922 has, which is automatic background removal. This is a very similar feature to what the Razer Stargazer has, but it is implemented in a different way. With the C922, it actually uses a software called Personify, which analyzes the image and uses contrast and just recognizing shapes to separate you from the background, whereas the Razer Stargazer uses Intel's RealSense to detect depth and separate it that way. Now, I got a lot of mixed results with this. If you have a very busy and messy background, it's gonna have a lot of trouble. I found it often cutting off my arms, especially if they were moving in front of other things. And it also has the tendency to insert a lot of stationary stuff from the background and think it's part of you. However, in front of a more simple background, obviously it is significantly improved. It's still not great, keeps cutting off parts of my head, for example, but at least it can outline the general shape of my body. I should also note that this feature only works at 720p and below, but the nice thing about the Personify software is it outputs the processed video to a virtual video device, so you can use it with any software right out of the box, 
OBS, XSplit, all of those without that software needing to implement new features to support it. My main issue with this background removal is very similar to Razer's webcam. The edges look jaggy, they don't look very good, although it does appear to have better anti-aliasing than Intel RealSense with the Razer. But I would like to see them add a feature that allows us to adjust the mask settings, so for example, we can change how the edges look. So the background removal is a nice feature to have, but it still just looks like a really crappy green screen. So I would actually think you're better off just using a regular square webcam view, or if you really want background removal, just get a green screen. Next, let's quickly go over the microphone, which as you would expect from a webcam, it's not very good. It's not horrible if you have nothing else, and I actually think it is a little bit better than the Razer Stargazer microphone because it doesn't sound as hollow. Let me give you a quick sample so you can hear it. This is a microphone test for the C922. Hopefully it sounds pretty good or not too much background noise. You guys can decide for yourself. So you can make up your own decision, but I would still say if you want proper audio, you're gonna have to go with an external microphone. Finally, I should mention that there are actually two options for when you go to buy this webcam. There's the C922 and the C922X. It's the same exact webcam, they just come with different things in the box. The C922 includes the webcam, a three month XSplit premium license, and a mini tripod. Whereas the C922X does not include the mini tripod, but rather includes a six month XSplit premium license. So that's just something to keep in mind. So let's sum this up. Overall, I am very happy with this webcam and I have very few negative things to say about it. Most importantly, the video quality is great, even in relatively low light, and it's crystal clear, especially if you bump up the sharpness just a little bit. And the 60 FPS frame rate at 720p is definitely a good feature if that's something you're looking for. Background removal is nice, but in my opinion, it's not that good, and that feature alone isn't enough to justify the purchase of the camera. It kind of works, but only if you have the ideal conditions to support it, such as a blank wall behind you. I think that really the main thing that needs to be improved is the apparent noise reduction filter they apply at 60 FPS. It's much too strong, kills all the sharpness in the video, and just makes the video look very strange. So I'd like to see some way to disable it. But besides that, this is an awesome webcam and is sure to be a classic for years. So why don't we give this guy a rating on my proprietary scale from literally trash to literally treasure. I would put this at about an 8.5 or wow, this is a really good webcam. As for price, it's not cheap at about $100, but if you're looking for quality, this is definitely a good choice. So again, if you wanna check it out, there is a link in the description to Amazon so you can check it out there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm interested to hear what you think down in the comments section, of course. So if you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you enjoyed it. And if you wanna subscribe, I make new videos like this at least three times a week. And if you wanna keep watching, you can check out some other videos right here. You can click on these even if you're on a phone, it's a new type of annotation. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys either here on YouTube or on Twitter, I'm always there as well. So thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Have a good one.